Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Seem like it's time for story time with the car man again. And I was thinking about some of the funnier stories out there, and my mind goes back to late 1989. And I don't know if y'all remember back then a little country called Kuwait. <laughs> they were sending pilots down to Pensacola NAS to get training, and they'd come down there for seven, eight months. I think maybe six months. And they had two things in common. One, they didn't know much about cars, and two, they all had a check for $11,000 to spend on a car that they were going to use for the months they were there. So, the name of this one's called Autopilot. So, it was one in the afternoon, and here comes one of these pilots, and you can't really understand them because their English isn't really that great. So I started talking to him, and he was a little different. Most of them like those little Toyota Tercels. You remember those little guys back in the day? And um, what was the other ones, Jen? Those little, I can't even think of the little cars. The little Plymouth Horizons were out and stuff like that. Yeah, all the ones I don't like. The late like. 80s little Connors cars. But this cat wanted a full-size, I mean, pimped out Big Daddy conversion van. <laughs> and you know, we were all too happy to sell it to him. Well, sure enough, man, when we go down to the test drive, I'm going through everything with this guy. This thing had a VCR. That's right. You heard it right here. He had his own VCR. He was on 18-inch tube TV. His, uh, oh, high-top conversion. Big fold-out seat queen. I mean, this cat was loaded. And he loved it. And he was so impressed when we were driving down the road. And he's like, what is this for? I said, man, this right here is cruise control. He's like, well, what does it do? I said, well, basically, you put it on it. Next thing I know, uh, or the next thing you know, you'll be cruising at that same speed. And that's just how cruise control works. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, we get back and get to wheeling and dealing. Of course, they're always the same. You know, as long as you can do the deal at exactly what the check is. And miraculously, my sales manager was always able to make the deal for those poor little guys. It's all well and good. Well, about a month later, we see this guy, and he comes in, and he has literally, literally this guy is in a body cast, pretty much. I mean, he's got a broke legs, he's got one of them things around his neck. This guy is just tore up from the floor up. So we're talking to him, and he's like, that van no good, the van no good. So we're thinking, man, what the world's wrong with the van? Can't be any worse than a Yugo, right? From my other story. But anyway, uh, the guy's like, yeah, he goes, um, so I'm going across, and down there is Interstate 10 that crosses the state of Florida, and then there's a huge bridge that goes over the uh, one of the bays there. He said that he was driving down the road on Interstate 10, and he felt a little tired, so as soon as he, he decided that he needed to rest, so he just put the vehicle on autopilot, went and climbed in the back of the van. Now, needless to say, three or four somersaults later, flipping the car over upside down and inside out off down the interstate, down through the ravine, he figured out that cruise control is not the same thing as autopilot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. That's one of the funny ones. Um, those pilots were always into something, but that was one thing that I will never, ever forget was the story about the autopilot. Anyway, stay tuned next week. I'm going to tell you something else from the Car Man's Chronicles himself. And Hard I to tell you... what that might be. Hard to tell what that might be. You goes an autopilot so I'm far. I'm thinking about the half price stripper. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yes, one of those days. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Support your troops. We certainly do. And give us the finger. And um, whatever you do, do something. For God's sakes. Hope you enjoyed it. Anything else, Jen? support your troops like always please subscribe to our channel and definitely stay tuned oh as far as the pilot goes he was not allowed to get another car and his pilot or his driver's license in the u.s his temporary permit was suspended and he went back home i think he got well and better he lived through it everything was good but i will never forget the day that I was getting ready to say a cuss word. Am I allowed to say a cuss word? No, we have gone over this before no, many, the car many times. No, the car not allowed to use bad words. Many times, many times. Yes. Diets and yes. refrain from refrain bad language. Refrain from bad language. As he says, no. We'll see. <laughs>
Anyway, guys, the car business is fun of funny, full of funny stories. If you got something you want to share, feel free to drop it on this channel, and um, we'll be glad to listen to it. I, I think this stuff is hilarious. Meanwhile, I'm getting the wrap it up from the girl behind the camera, so yep. I guess I'm done talking. See ya. Bye, guys.